Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio, where today we are focusing on cancer company Medivir. The company has recently presented results from a phase 1b2a study with its drug Fostrox in combination with the size Lenvima. And this is an advanced liver cancer. And uh, with us from Paris and the ESL Liver Cancer Summit, where the results have been presented, is uh, Dr. Jeff Evans. Welcome, Dr. Evans. Welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me to attend. And you um, are one of the investigators in this study, where Fostrox, in combination with Lenvima, is investigated in patients that have been or that have progressed on a first line immunotherapy combination, which means that a combination of immune therapy drugs has been used as the initial treatment. What is the current treatment recommendations for this patient group? Yes, yeah, so what we're dealing with here is primary liver cancer, also called hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC for short, and we'll call it HCC for the rest of this interview. So HCC is one of the commonest cancers in the world and vastly increasing in prevalence in the Western world, related to a number of epidemiological factors. And for the patients with advanced and resectable disease, which forms the majority of the patients uh, who either have had previous local regional treatment or surgery or who are not suitable for that, they are treated with first-line treatment with combination of immunotherapy with a partner drug, usually another immunotherapy or an agent that targets blood vessel formation regimen. And in this study, patients who treated beyond first-line therapy with immunotherapy were eligible. Currently, and as we heard this morning at this meeting, there is no level one evidence for a gold standard second-line treatment post immunotherapy in this disease. All the previous second-line studies have been performed when serafinib was the tyrosine kinase inhibitor in the first line. And therefore, there isn't a recognized second-line treatment in this disease. And there's a great unmet need within the tumor uh, type that has very few options, generally speaking. And behind you, we can see the poster from, from the study. What are the most important findings from this study? The most important findings from this study is the clinical outcome. It was set up initially as a phase one monotherapy, then phase two combination with Nevatim, specifically in HCC. And the first uh, priority was to demonstrate the safety. This is a well-tolerated regimen with no unexpected toxicity signals. But the intriguing data is on clinical outcome, both in terms of objective responses of over 20%, which is significantly higher than that seen with other types of kinase inhibitor studies in the second line setting previously, including the pivotal randomized studies, as well as intriguing uh, longer progression free survival, time to progression, and overall survival, albeit in a non randomized setting, that you've hitherto seen in the randomized studies, second line post seraphia. Yeah, and looking a bit at other um, second line liver cancer to data from, from other studies. How does the benefit from this combination compare to that? Well, the objective responses are significantly higher than that noticed in the second line celestial or regorafnib and serafnib studies. And, and of course, we have limited data on outcome after immunotherapy, uh, as well, well, that was the first line therapy for the subsequent second line studies. So this has not got a comparative post IO, but there are comparatives post serafinib tyrosine kinase. And this is a very favorable profile in terms of objective response, progression free survival, time to progression, overall survival, with most patients experiencing a reduction. And also the duration of response is very encouraging. And there's still some patients on the study with a median follow up of over 10 months. So the uh... AFP levels is an important uh, marker of liver cancer. And right. there is a reduction in, in this study at six weeks. What is the re relevance of that to the, the um, overall outcome? Well, the first point to make is that we see uh, in improvement in um, objective responses and clinical outcome, time to depression, overall survival in patients, even with those with the highest AFP. Uh, previously, we know that some studies have suggested that a high AFP, particularly over 400, is associated with an increased tumour burden and an adverse prognosis. Uh, but the uh, clinical outcome that we see in the study is seen in both those with AFP at baseline above and below 400. And we've seen a rapid decrease within the first six weeks, which does suggest that in, in 
what is then borne out in terms of some of the response data, that we are decreasing the tumour burden quite substantially uh, with the intervention in this trial. And turning to talk about safety and tolerability, how does the safety of to and tolerability, I should say, of Fostrox's lymphoma combination affect the possibility of the patient to stay on a, on a long-term treatment? Well, yes, uh, you probably can't see projecting so well, but uh, when the website will have the, the poster on, you'll be able to see the spider plot, which shows the duration of um, drug exposure. And we have patients on for, in some cases, over two years. And the median time of response is seven months, which does demonstrate that this is a tolerable regimen. Now, we know a lot about Lenvima's monotherapy in this disease um, and its tolerability. And we didn't see any increase in what we would have expected to see with Lenvima. And similarly, we know what the side effect profile is with MIV-818 phosphorox used as monotherapy. And again, we didn't see any unexpected uh, signals, either in terms of the frequency of toxicity or in terms of the intensity. And it's noteworthy that we didn't see, for example, any febrile neutropenia or neutropenic sepsis, which is very encouraging, given the mechanism of action of this, which is ultimately a cytotoxic, albeit one that is intrahepatically generated rather than peripheral. And for my uh, final question, let's zoom out a little bit. What is your um, overall impression of this combination, Fostrox and Lenvima in liver cancer? And how do you think this treatment could fit into a future treatment landscape? Well, I'm encouraged by the data that we've seen. And it's certainly sufficient to warrant um, a, a randomized trial in the second line space, uh, of which there is considerable interest in the field in that uh, space as well as in this particular trial because as yet we do not have a recognized level one evidence gold standard clinical trial data to demonstrate what should be the the uh, treatment to second line post IO. The, the vast majority of patients with um, advanced disease are now treated with immunotherapy in the first line and has been done met even second and subsequent lines of treatment uh, and this is a space that's crying out for a novel regimen. Well, with that, we say thank you so much, Dr. Evans, and thank you to um, those who have been watching. We'll see you soon again.